children now we will move to exercise 6.2 the question is using the number line write the integers which is first one 3 more than 5 so the question is given we need to represent them in the number line look at the first one here first 3 more than 5 so what we are going to do first we will find where is 5 from 5 there is 3 more than that so find where is 5 from there make 3 jumps okay towards right if it is more than or plus we should move to the right side if it is less than or minus then you should move to the left hand side now here it is more than so we should move to the right so from 5 3 more than so 3 times you will jump so it comes first jump second jump third jump finally you reach 8 so your answer is 8 b question you see 5 more than minus 5 so which one we should identify first the second number minus 5 so we will move to minus 5 first from there 5 more than more than means which side we should move we should move towards right side so from minus 5 how many jump 5 jumps so 1 2 3 4 5 when I jump 5 times where do I reach I reach the number 0 on the right side so our answer is 0 5 more than minus 5 is 0 Question C, 6 less than 2. So here it is less than. So we will be moving to the left hand side from which number? From the number 2, less than 2. So from number 2. First we will identify where 2 is. From 2 towards the left, how many jumps we are going to make? We are going to make 6 jump. So from 2 jumping 6 times, we reach to the number minus 2. 4. So, our answer for third one will be minus 4. Okay. So, this is how if it is more than or addition, you should move to the right side. If it is less than or subtraction, you should move to the left hand side. Now, the second question. Use number line and add the following. Now, directly the numbers are given. Using the number line, we, to, we should solve it. The same pattern 9 plus minus 6. Always remember when bracket is represented, bracket means multiplication. Okay, here signs are multiplied. You see 9n plus a open bracket, then minus, then 6, isn't it? So plus into minus. When you multiply different signs, you will get the answer as minus. Plus into minus is minus, minus into plus is also minus. On the other side, plus into plus is plus minus into minus is also plus okay keep this in mind this will be given to you during the notes now in a question 9n plus minus 6 is given so in between to remove the bracket plus into minus is minus so 9n minus 6 we need to represent a number line according to the question isn't it so number line is drawn choose where is 9 from the 9 minus 6 if it is minus or less than which side we are supposed to move we should move towards left so how many times six times we are moving we are jumping towards the left six times and finally we reach the number three which is the answer for nine minus six now second one you see minus one plus minus seven here minus one is written as it is because there are no signs in front of it it was minus one next plus minus 7 so plus and minus in between you have bracket so what does bracket mean it means multiplication plus into minus is minus so minus 7 is written minus 1 minus 7 okay so first in the number line we will identify where minus 1 is from minus 1 the second one is minus 7 isn't it so it is minus 7 if it is subtraction minus what we have to do we should jump towards left how many times here seven times so on jumping seven times towards left from minus one we reach minus eight and that is the answer for minus one minus seven question e you have three numbers notice it minus one plus minus two plus minus three so first minus one is written as it is we are going to remove the brackets okay second you have plus into minus two so multiply the signs 
plus into minus different signs so you will get the answer as minus plus into minus is minus so minus 2 again plus into minus 3 so plus into minus is minus so finally you get minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 now from minus 1 we will start in the number line identify where is minus 1 is from there the second number is minus 2 isn't it so towards the left we need to jump how many times two times we are jumping towards the left so first minus 2 then minus 3 now we are in which position we are in minus 3 it is given in box okay now from there what is the third number it is minus 3 again so from the minus 3 which is in the number line we are going to jump three times towards the left and finally where do we reach we reach minus 6 okay so that is the answer for minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 hope you all understood this we are moving to question 3 add without using number line so same like the second one we are going to do some addition but what is the thing we are not going to use the number line here see the a question 11 plus in brackets minus 7 the bracket means multiplication so we'll just remove the brackets first 11 plus into minus is minus then 7 always keep in mind when you multiply two different signs you will get minus if you multiply same sign either plus into plus or minus into minus your answer is plus okay now what is 11 minus 7 we all know it is simple subtraction the answer is 4 the only thing is removing the bracket second you see minus 10 plus bracket open plus 19 so minus 10 i am writing as it is then plus into plus multiplying same signs you will get plus plus into plus is plus so we wrote plus 19 so in the third line you see minus 10 plus 19 is written as 19 minus 10 we are just or interchanging the position for our convenience okay minus 10 plus 19 is written as plus 19 minus 10 now it is easy for us to subtract what is 19 minus 10 it is 9 so you got the answer is 9 third one minus 380 plus minus 270 so as usual we will remove the brackets first minus 380 is written as it is next you have plus and minus plus into minus is minus so minus 270 now you see minus 380 plus minus 270 we are writing it here when you have same sign you will add and write the number along with the sign what is given there if both the number have plus then your answer you will add and put plus if both the numbers are minus what will you do even then you will add and put the minus sign here minus 380 plus minus 270 both are negative numbers isn't it so what we will do we will add them and put minus sign 0 plus 0 is 0 8 plus 7 is 15 5 1 is taken to the reminder 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 so you get 650 both are in minus so you put minus sign in front d question minus 250 plus plus 150 so we will remove the brackets minus 250 is written as it is plus into plus is plus when you multiply two same signs you will get plus plus 150 now you see in this case one number is minus number the other number is plus number minus 250 plus 150 isn't it so when you have two different signs you need to subtract the numbers and put the bigger number sign okay so here 250 and 150 we will subtract them which is the biggest number it is 250 so in before in front of 250 which sign is there minus sign so we will put minus sign there just see 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 5 is 0 2 minus 1 is all 
is 1. So, we got the answer as 100, which is the biggest number among these two? It is 250. In front of 250, what is the sign? Minus. So, we will put minus sign in front and finally, you get the answer as minus 100. Question number 4. Find the sum of. We are going to find the sum. 137 and minus 354. We need to find the sum. Sum means addition. So, we are introducing brackets and putting plus sign. Just see, plus 137. If there is no sign in front of any number, it means it is plus number. Okay, positive integer. Plus 137 plus in brackets minus 354. So, if you have two numbers with two different signs, what we are supposed to do? We should subtract those two numbers and put the bigger number sign okay so we can write in any order as per our convenience since it is subtraction i'm choosing the biggest number first and it is better to choose the biggest number first and then the smallest number okay so minus 354 plus 137 two different signs we will subtract now for the first you see 4 minus 7 it is not possible we are borrowing from 5 so 4 became 14 okay 14 minus 7 is 7 then 4 minus 3 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 now we got the number as 217 among the two numbers 137 and 354 which is the greatest number it is 354 in front of 354 what is the sign it is minus sign so the biggest number has minus, so answer also will have minus. We will put minus and finally get the answer as minus 217. Question B, minus 52 and 52. So, we will put addition symbol in front, minus 52 plus 52. When we add, you see, both have two different signs. What we are supposed to do? We should subtract them and put the bigger number sign. So, 2 minus 2 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0 again. So, if it is 0, 0 has no sign, it is neutral. It is not in the positive side, it is not in the negative side also. Okay. So, finally, you get the answer as 0. Question C, minus 312, comma 39 and 192. So, you have three numbers here. We will just remove the comma and 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 put plus sign now. We will take it into equation. Minus 312 plus plus 39 plus plus 192 now you see first number is a minus number second and third numbers are plus numbers so keeping that first number as it is i'm going to add the second and third number see in the rough work it is done 192 plus 39 is 231 so we get in the third step minus 312 plus 231 here again, first number is minus number, second number is plus number. If two different sign numbers are there, what we are supposed to do? We should subtract them and put the bigger numbers sign in front. So, 312 minus 231, you will get 81. Among these two numbers, which is the greatest number? It is 312, that is the greatest. So, in front of it, we have minus. So, we will add that minus to the answer. So, finally, what is the answer? It is minus 81. Question 5. Again, to find the sum. Here, directly the question is given minus 7 plus minus 9 plus 4 plus 16. So, what am I doing is, first I am keeping those negative numbers separately. Minus 7 plus minus 9 just brought down as it is. Plus, what is 4 plus 16? it is 20 so write it as 20 okay see since it is addition in completely to our convenience we can interchange which we have already learned about the closure property now in the second line you see we have minus 7 plus minus 9 here both the signs are same so what we will do we will add them and put the sign what is there so 7 plus 9 is 16 in front of both the numbers, we have minus. So, put minus in front and bring that 20 down. You get 
minus 16 plus 20. Here the signs are different. So what we will be doing? We will subtract and put the bigger number sign. 20 minus 16 is 4. In Among these two, 20 is the largest number. In front of 20 we have plus so it's not represented there because with a number without any sign means it is a positive integer a plus number question b 37 plus minus 2 plus minus 65 plus minus 8 so better for our convenience we will remove the brackets first 37 is written as it is then plus into minus is minus so minus 2 plus into minus is minus again so minus 65 plus into minus is minus then 8 so you get 37 minus 2 minus 65 minus 8 now first let us solve 37 minus 2 what is 37 minus 2 it is 35 now 35 I'm keeping as it is then I have minus 65 minus 8 in the rough work you can see the calculation minus and minus both the numbers are minus so what we will do we will add the numbers and put the same sign so what is 65 and 8 when you add you will get 73 and the sign before them is minus so it is minus 73 so in the last step you see you have 35 minus 73 so now plus 35 minus 73 two numbers one is minus number one is plus number two different signs what we are supposed to do we need to subtract them and put the bigger number sign now when you subtract 73 and 35 you are getting 38 now what is the sign to be put in front it is minus because the biggest number 73 has minus in front so finally you get minus 38 as the answer